she doesn't think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay lah, better than nothing lah. The purpose of Ngo Hiam ma, you know, people don't eat the skin eh. They eat inside. The actual one, you see, they have holes, can feel it. I have feelings. <laughs> When I started making fake food, that's when I fail a lot, right? And you waste a lot of money failing. So it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Hi guys, so we're going to make Audi, a traditional Teochew dessert. In the interest of time, we've pre-made like the yam paste, but we're going to make the pumpkin paste that goes on top of this. So first thing we're going to do is to mix the resin. So I have an older brother, he's the correct model student. He's very good in maths, very good in science. He went to like your top school, like RI. My mom didn't expect me to do that well. I didn't get her mark that she wanted. It kind of disappointed her in that way. Throughout the whole of secondary school, I refused to do your arts classes. I did your maths, your science to show her that, look, I can do it. I can be as good as him. So after doing so much maths and science, every day is like go home, cry. <laughs> do the maths paper, just cry, fail, maybe do again. I don't even know how I made it to <laughs> O-levels, but then decided, no, I'm going to go poly and did design. And probably that's like the best choice I ever made. So we're going to add colour. Pumpkin paste is kind of orange. So yellow and red mix orange. kind of want to see where the colour is at once you mix it in. The biggest reason I chose food besides that I like to eat is also because maybe it's something that people can relate to. Something that you probably ate with your grandma it brings you back to like a specific moment in time. And I think when my mom got involved in the process, then she starts to see actually that is how my daughter sees the world. Must look like my fake one. <laughs> how about one darker, one lighter? I think the oil is very hot, that's why. Yeah. I think make it light first. Yeah, yes, yeah. in case not enough, then come back again. Alright? Yeah. My mom, I think we are okay. It's just more of like, I'm not as close to her. It's just more of like, I don't have much to talk about, but food became like the common topic to bond over. Because this is kind of what she does every day, right? Cook. This makeup is for what? Fake food, right? Yeah, or for face? <laughs> She's still a very Asian mom indeed, like in the sense of like she will QC my food quality. So if the quality is not there, she will say, 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 and then make me do again. See, yeah, I put together. Can you see the difference? <gasps> the Sorry. <laughs> when I started making fake food, then I started to realize that my mom shows love in a very different way. Not so much saying, but more of like showing how she loves you. So if not for her, I probably wouldn't have that standard of QC for my fake food. My mom probably didn't really understand how the arts could be a career. That's why she's probably been pushing to do something a bit more substantial, like maybe engineering. Ultimately, it probably boils down to making sure that you'll be okay after like they are gone, or like making sure that we will live comfortably as you can see, the consistency is quite sticky and it's time for plating. That's it. There you have it. Orni. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My advice to parents who have kids who are interested in arts or like sports, let them do, give them space, but make sure they get a degree. Just that in anything. It's just that backup piece of paper. If you really need a job, then that's something that you at least have. They'll find something that they like to do eventually. And also, I think as long as they're happy, then I think that's what matters most.